right, this is the one you've been waiting for. Oh my goodness. He sent me this on Messenger and I'm like, you have got to put that in the Facebook group. He's like, I knew you would like this one. And he got those at an estate sale for $4 and they sold for $600. Oh my goodness. Wowza. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for that you can hopefully pick up cheap and sell online, either on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, or the platform of your choice, really. Um, in this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So what I did is I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is a share your best January bolo. So, um, and then they post a screenshot and they tell me the information and I bring it to you in video format to help you learn. So I have a whole series of these. Definitely go check them out. It is a great way to learn. Just hit that playlist, throw it on while you ship or while you list or whatever you're doing and just gain all the knowledge so that you are armed and ready when you go out sourcing. All right, let's get started with the first one. This one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. This is his eBay store. He is a Bolo Buddies member, which means he has joined my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel for memberships at level two. If you're interested, there's more information down below. He said, I bought it at a private sale for four, um, got 40 pieces of this artist's work and also another 50 sets of carnival glass for $1,000. So I have about $10 in each piece. Took a best offer on this piece for $550. $10 into $550. So you're thinking, oh my goodness, he spent $1,000. But he just made half, more than half his money back on one piece. It's a Clarice Cliff Rare Stained Glass Conical Cup and Saucer. Wow. Bolo. Okay, this one comes from a new Bolo Buddies member. So um, if you're following everybody, um, this is a new member. So make sure you go down to their eBay star and click on that heart. And if they do coupons or list new items, you'll get alerts um, on your phone. So this is Bio Grand. Wait, Bio, oh boy. Oh, I don't know how to say it. Bio Grande. Bayou, Bayou Grand. Oh gosh, man, I'm saying it way wrong. This is what it looks like. I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> Bayou Grande. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. It's linked down below. Go click on the link. This tiny key goes to an antique bell telephone booth light fixture to prevent theft of the light bulbs. I found it in a lot of 500 keys and locks for 20 total at an estate sale. I have another one like it. I'll be listing. Put it up for $39.50, seven day auction. Got a best offer of 55 after five days. This is what it looks like. That is so funny. All right. This one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters and this is his eBay store. I bought this off high bid auction. I paid just over 25 for it. Sold it on eBay in a couple months for full promotional asking price of $159.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $242.77. It is a Wendy Lalton Little Colonial Doll limited edition with box from 1990. And this is what it looks like. All right. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more. Oh, this is one that you want to auction. If you ever find this hat, do an auction, okay? And I do have a video on trucker hats where I tell you different things to look for and different brands. This is one that I talked about. It's a Pepsi snapback hat. Purchased from a local thrift store, paid $1.25, sold within 20 minutes of being listed for $200. Yeah, I've seen these go for three, four, and up. These are an amazing bolo. Vintage Pepsi Cola, three-stripe snapback, trucker hat, cap, red, white, blue, made in the USA. 
Um, she may have searched comps and um, this may have been the price range that was showing in the last 90 days on eBay. WorthPoint is an excellent tool to use. It is a paid service, but you can go back much further. You can also use Terapeak, which is fee free if you have an eBay store. I think it goes back a year, but um, I love WorthPoint, but it took me a long time to commit to buying it because it's kind of pricey. I pay for the year so that I get it um, cheaper because if you pay by the month, it's more expensive. And quite frankly, I want to spend less, you know, so um, I use it for my business. So I just submit that to my accountant and I do have a link down below. It is a referral link. If you want to try WorthPoint, you can check that out down there. Um, it'll give you the pricing per month and there's different um, tiers, but I do have videos if you just type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint, that will show you how I use WorthPoint and it pays for itself, you guys. It's one of those things kind of like list perfectly. I'm cross posting my items, I'm selling more items. It pays for itself. If you wanna try list perfectly, I also have a demo video down below on that. And um, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And yeah. Pepsi Cola trucker hat, definitely a bolo. This one also comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. We got this at the Goodwill, paid $2 for it, sold within a couple months. Took a best offer of $50, plus shipping buyer was all in for $68. It's a Christmas tree fantasy sunset stitchery stamped cru cruel embroidery set. I used to say cruel, and somebody's like, it's like cruel, like you're being cruel. So I know how to, I, I always remember that in my head before I say it. So there's a little tip if you guys don't know how to say it. Like, don't be cruel. We got this at a uh, Goodwill bin, so it would have come to around $3 based on weight. Sold within a couple months for a full asking price of $69.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $100.17. The track was complete in this, but it was missing the stickers that went on it. Missing one car, and the car that was included was missing a wheel, all of which was noted in the listing. So it's a vintage Mattel Hot Wheels Turbo Tracks playset from, I think it says 1985. And in the title, it says read description. Sometimes I'll do all caps read. Pick this up today from a local thrift store. It is a place where you fill a bag for $5. So my cost was 84 cents. Filled up two bags, 12 items total. Accepted an offer of 50 plus shipping on Mercari. It is a vintage Dugan dongle chunky cable knit fisherman sweater. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means, but it's a bolo, $50. Bought two, or I'm sorry, bought the two Pernkoff books at an estate sale for $4. Bought the vascular surgery book at the Goodwill bins. Both sold quickly. Oh my goodness. Wowza. Okay, so the first one is a vascular surgery book that sold for $74.99. The second one is the Pernkoff Atlas. And he got those at an estate sale for $4 and they sold for $600. Get out of here. $600. Wow. This one comes from Thrift and so Let's try that again. This one comes from Thrift and Style 1156. This is her eBay store. I got this framed artwork by J.E. Alexander about one half year ago at Goodwill for, I think, $6. From $175, I sent $160 and took an offer of $155. And this is what it looks like. So it's a print. Got three semi-assembled vintage model cars at a local thrift store, paid $1.50 for it. Took a best offer of $45, um, listed for a month. And this is what it looks like. And this also came, came from Thrift and Style, eleven fifty six, And this is hers as well. Got these about four months ago at the Goodwill for $6. I bought th brought them home, washed them, and they sat in my laundry room for two months. <laughs> Who does that? Uh, maybe not shoes, but I am guilty of putting things in my money pile. Listed them in December for 160 and took an offer for 120. 
All right, this one comes from Stellar Seller Sam, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She said, this isn't a huge bolo, but it was unexpected. Pick this automatic contact lens cleaner up at the bins because it was still in the package. Packing, packing was super damaged. It sold so fast. I did not expect that at all. Um, Clensatron? Clensatron? This is what it looks like. So it cleans your contact lenses, I guess. Hmm. That's cool. Maybe she underpriced it. I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. Bought this Galipsy, I think is how you say it, Armani at thrift store for $10 and sold it for $500. Rare, retired, mother and child, Italy, maternity, baby, porcelain. And I know that Donatella Bottolino was selling this brand of figures at her YouTube auction. And somebody else recently sent me a bolo, a picture that they bought from her. So I think it's going to be in a video. So stay tuned for that one. But this one sold for $500 and they got it for $10 at a thrift store. Found at the Goodwill bins and thought it was just another Lego tree. Google Lens showed that it was a hard to find cypress tree. Paid pennies for it and sold it for $25. Cha-ching! These are like my favorite. I love selling little bread and butter toys. It's like my favorite. They're so easy to list. They're so easy to ship. They're easy to look up. Easy, easy, easy. Easy money. Toys. Love it. Um, plus, it just makes me happy, you know? Like, there's some things, like, I've got these uh, cats meow. They're little, like, wood figures. And I, I just, uh, it bores me. They're so boring. Toys are so fun. Okay, this comes from Bougie Thrifting Mama, and this is her eBay store, Bougie Thrifting Mama. She said, I changed the name of my store, so it's easy, easier to say. I can't remember what it was before. It was like Bougie Woogie Coogie Woogie Wadgie Wooga, something like that. So this is easier. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. And here's the cypress tree. Bought at the Goodwill for $5.99 and sold for asking price of $67 on Poshmark within 30 minutes of listing. It's a vintage Collins of Texas leather purse with brass Roadrunner clasp. And this also comes from Bougie Thrifting Mama. And this is what it looks like. So she's on Poshmark as well. This is also hers. Found this Texas A&M ring box at the Goodwill for $2.99. Sold for full asking price of $25.99 within an hour of listing on eBay. You know anything about Aggies? You know they're proud of those rings. I don't know anything at all about any sport. So I guess Aggies, is that something to do with Texas A&M? <laughs> I have no clue. Anyway, you guys are probably like, man, she has no clue about sports. All right, here we go. This one comes from YouTube channel Trading Post Pickers. And they picked this up at a yard sale for $1. Settled on a $90 offer. Threw in the drumsticks to boost me ahead of someone else. Okay. It is a rock band drum pad. Silencers. Harmonics rock band black with sticks. Okay, so what they're saying is they had the product and to make their listing stand out, they threw in the drumsticks. So sometimes I'll do that with toys. Like if I have one or if I could make it a set, if there's a ton of singles listed, sometimes I'll put two together and call it twins. That would just be an example. So adding to your listing to make it more like you know, somebody's more likely going to buy it because it has that little extra. This is also from Trading Post Pick Pickers. Had a guy come in our store when in Florida, always selling me records. I think I paid $10 for this one. Took a best offer of $90. Rare, the Dirty Heads Cabin by the C Vinyl Album. Excellent 2012 5-7 music. This is what it looks like. So it's a record. And this one is also from Trading Post Pickers. Who doesn't love blow molds? Pick two up at the Goodwill for $5 each. This other, the other is a snowman. They both are tabletop. This one sold in three days for $45. It is a 1970s Empire Plastic Christmas Blow Mold Santa, and it's only 12 inches, and this is what it looks like. Those are the kind I like, the smaller ones. 
They still sell for good money and they are easier to ship. Those big ones, woo! Purchased at a church sale for 50 cents and sold in a couple months on Etsy. This is from Dare to Dream Big 1313. This is her eBay store, but these sold on Etsy. They are three Mattel, Mattel 101 Dalmatians. They're the little beanie plushies by Disney. How cool is that? I love it. Purchased at a church sale for a quarter. These are also hers. Dare to Dream Big 1313. Sold on Etsy in a couple months for uh, $37. They are vintage Christmas candles. Santa Claus, Snowman, Angel. And they're by Gruley. That is a great candle brand right there. All right. Found this at a thrift store in the rich part of town. Sold in about a week. I took a best offer of $200. I paid $15 for it. It's a Prada logo plate leather zip around wallet. New without tags. Designer pocketbook. Sold for a best offer of $200. And that's what it looks like. Did an estate sale buyout. So this was probably around $1. I didn't do an average price. Listed it for $265 and sent an offer for $245. Then it sold. It's number 36 of 2000. It's in mint condition, it says. Wow. It's a Stife Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, FAO, FAO, I don't know if it's FAO or FAO, I think it's FAO, Schwartz, 1997, and this is what it looks like. I bought a large lot of vintage towels at an estate sale, and everything was 75% off that day. Paid 50 cents and sold a pair of bath towels for $48. $48. Buyer was all in for $61.94. This is what it looks like. It is a vintage 1970s Canon Monticello muslin Morocco pink pair bath towels purple. Awesome. Bath towels can definitely be a bolo. Well, this is my bolo. I paid $2 at an auction calculated from the lot I bought it in and just sold it on an offer after listing it this morning. It is an unusual vintage early times whiskey wood advertising sign bar, man cave decor, $189.99 for that one. This one comes from PNW Flips, paid $5 at an estate sale, and it sold for asking plus shipping. Uh, PNW Flips is her YouTube channel, and it is a Exerciser Elite 2000 by Clark Platinum Series Chai Machine Passive Circulation. All right, this is the one you've been waiting for. Oh my goodness. He sent me this on Messenger and I'm like, you have got to put that in the Facebook group. He's like, I knew you would like this one. Are you ready? Paid $2 at an estate sale and sold in one day for $150, you guys. It says jar, new, one jar, three ounce, Nesty unsweetened iced tea mix makes 30 quarts discontinued. Are you kidding me? Amazing Steals and Deals does it again. This is his eBay store. You got to go follow it. Go click that heart. He is incredible with his bolos. Um, all right, you guys, we are going to end this one here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just write the word hoot down in the comments and let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.